previous videos, I talked about creating these uh, adjustment layers. And we can do that using the adjustments panel. We can also use the layer menu using new adjustment layer. Now, the beauty of this, like we said with the, with the other video, is that this is gonna do a non-destructive change. But it gets even further than that. But let's say I have this photo here. This is when my son finally realized that things live under rocks. You can see a very, very surprised expression on his face. And what I've done is I've made this black and white. So it's a black and white photo. And now I'd like to make just a portion of it color. You actually see these photos all over the place now where part of the image is black and white and part of it's uh, color. So this would be probably one of the easiest ways to do it. In Photoshop, you can apply a black and white uh, adjustment layer. And then with that layer selected, and this is important, there's two parts of the layer. There's actually the adjustment, and then there's something called the mask, which in this case is a white square. Well, what the mask does is the mask determines where this adjustment will be applied. So white means the adjustment will be applied. Black means the adjustment won't be applied. So what I can do now is I can actually use my painting tools, any of the painting tools, I'm just gonna use the paintbrush in this example, to paint, let's say, the color black of where I'd like to bring the color back into the photo. So let me just zoom in quickly here. So you can see, okay, I'm painting black, and again, you could do any shade of gray to do any portion of the color back, but I'm just going to do full color here. So I want black. I have the adjustment layer mask selected. And as I paint, you can see the colors coming back to that portion of the photo. And we can do this, of course, to any area of the photo. So I'm just going to quickly rough in um, this little surprised face here with his toque. There we go. We could do the jacket. Now the jacket's kind of gray anyways, so you might have a hard time seeing that. And as we paint our way around, I want you to take a look over on the mask on the side as well. You can see over on the mask along the side, there's the little blue jeans. Okay, let's move down this photo a little bit. Here we go, let's get the whole rock in there as well. Add a little more color to the photo. Okay, and you can do this with a selection. I'm painting, so it's gonna, I mean, it's taking me a little while to do this. But you could, of course, do this with a selection and using the fill option. All of those are valid. So once you have that done, you can actually see over on the mask, there is a black portion where that black and white is not being applied. So that's the key here. Black means it won't apply the layer mask. White means it's going to apply the layer mask. So you can create these amazing photos uh, really by utilizing this layer um, ad adjustment layer feature that comes with a mask automatically. And like I said, you can use any of the painting tools, you can use any of those tools. And this is going to apply to any of these adjustment layers. So give that a try. It doesn't have to just be black and white. It could be absolutely anything. Levels, brightness, contrast. All of those adjustments you only might want to do on a portion of your photo, you can achieve that through the use of masks.